sweet potato, onion, and sage. Open. Okay, so I've got some sweet potato. I've already um, uh, blanched this off in some uh, water. Got my onions diced, and I've got about, got about three eggs in there. Uh, whole eggs, but I'm not going to use all of it. And I've also got some sage. It's a bit good. I really like sage. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. So, pan. Got my non stick pan. Get that on the heat. A little bit of oil. I just want to caramelise the onions off slightly and the sweet potato. Just get a bit of colour on them, get, add a little bit of a flavour or flavour to the potato. So let's get the pan on, let's get that pan hot, and put the eggs to the side. And we'll just get, as soon as the pan is hot, then we'll get the onions in there and the potato. Sage. Okay, so I'm just going to pile the sage up nicely, like so. And it's quite a big leaf, so I'm just going to cut the leaves in half, on like so, and then just and down. Quite small. Like so. So it's a nice, fine, shredded sage to go through the potatoes and the onions. And my open potato, sweet potato omelet. So onions, we've got some onions in. About how much? Focus on the pan, focus on the pan. There we go. Okay, so we've got the onions going. Potatoes. I'm going to put, try and get them all in the pan. Okay, there we go. I just want to, I don't want a really fat, I don't want a really fat omelet. I just want to keep it nice and, you know, A nice size, not massive one. Okay, so that's the onions and the potatoes. So we get a bit of colour on there in the oil. It's nice and hot. We've got a little bit of um, table salt. Get that in there. And then I've got my eggs. Ready to shimmy, shimmy in there. Okay. But what I will do is, I will drop potatoes and onions in there, in this bowl, add the eggs, and mix it together and then we're back in the pan. Come on. Give it a flip. So I'm going to cook that out. So now I'm going to cook out that potatoes and those onions now for about five minutes or so. Get a nice bit of colour on it and then we'll uh, show you the next step. So I've just dropped the sage into the uh, potatoes right now as it's cooking. And we're just going to leave that for a few minutes and then we will uh, finish, go, well, go to the next step of making the open potato omelet. So that has got to be almost, what, nearly four weeks of beautiful, beautiful blue skies and sunshine. What an absolute dream. Okay, my potatoes have now been on there now. It's been about 10 minutes, they've just been cooking slowly on there. I've just got a nice bit of colour on the uh, on the potatoes and the onions. Give that a nice flavour. Right. Now what I want to do is, make sure that's not on, but I'll blow the plastic, is um, pan around. Okay, cool. Drop that in. There. And then, I'm just going to give the pan a, a little bit of a wipe out. Wipe out. Okay. My nice non-stick. Oh, it's a bit hot. I'll do that too quickly. Okay. Right. Pans ready to go again. Beautiful these pans. Absolutely amazing. But you've got to look after them. Otherwise, they get scratched. In. Absolute rubbish. And you can't use them as well as they are right now. They're just absolutely. Top notch. Okay, so into my mix, I'm going to add the eggs. So that's about two eggs. It's about two whole eggs. 
in there. So, probably let's do a little bit more. So that's just under three eggs. Two and a half. Two and three quarters whole eggs. Okay, so, right. Pan is hot. It's non-stick. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of oil in it though. Just like, just a little bit, just, just I don't know. Just, 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 just. Sunflower oil. We're done, just give it a little bit of oil. Fiddle around. That's gonna come to the heat quite quickly. Then I'm gonna drop my, um, drop the mix in. There's the mix, can you see the mix? Yeah, cool, okay. Let's go back to the pan. And drop that in. Right, now I just want that to cook um, about three quarters all the way through. In quite a low heat. I've got this one, and then, uh, and then we'll flip it over and put it back in the pan on the other side to finish it off. So we'll turn it onto here. The omelette has now been on there for about five minutes. We're cooking slowly. Just loosened that around a little bit. So it's going to come out of the pan when we tip it over. There's still some wet egg on the top. See that? I just want to try and get that just cooked. Just rolling it around slightly. So then when we can flip it out, um, it's not going to make a complete mess everywhere. I just want it just. Okay. Whip it. So it's flip it out on the board, back in the pan, back on the heat, finish it off. Is the uh, is what we're hoping for. Okay. Oh, still a little bit wet. Oh, it's still a little bit wet. It's a little bit wet. It's a little bit wet, but underneath I don't want it burnt, so it's a bit of a you know. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I know what you do. You do this. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm back in the pan. So we get that to finish off that egg. It still needs to uh, cook it off. Back on the heat. It's quite a low heat, mediumish heat. And then we just, I'm just going to push it back down. Let's get that egg cooking. That was quite a successful flip, actually. That was a successful flip. Flip. Flipper, flipper. Anyone know flipper? Just give that a few, a few seconds, and then we can take it out. Flipper, yeah. So flipper, flipper was a dolphin. Didn't know if you knew that. But there we go. So I reckon that was just just about the. Pretty good now. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Eggs all cooked, bit of colour. See the sage. The sage. Now we're going to get on the plate, have a look. Go on, there you go. Cool. So there is my open sweet potato and sage um, omelette.